greatest prize in sport to become world champions today in Poland Speedway's World Cup begins this week 12 countries compete for the right to call themselves world champions twelve countries 84 riders one week, one trophy, no breaks. Gdansk in Poland is a setting for the inaugural Speedway World Cup. Twelve teams will battle it out over the next week for the magnificent Ovi Funding Trophy. National pride is at stake this evening. It's Great Britain, the host Poland, Finland and Germany. but coming through in blue, Mark Arag picks it up round the outside of it goes Sebastian Ulebeck back in third place is Tommy Raymer now but great for Mark Aram, a great start he's come round there and done well fantastic first corner for Mark Aram he didn't make the start but he rolled right round the curb with his front wheel on the white line and really from then on he's made a fabulous corner and now he's just pulling away from the opposition perhaps predictably the Germans at the back but there is Mark Aram, the world champion going as we hoped he would in second place it's Sebastian Ulebeck for the Polish nation, the one who we believe perhaps should win this meeting. But the best possible start for Britain. Mark the Ram looking as if he's got something in hand now. Trailing him is Sebastian Ulemek. Tommy Reimer is back in third place for Finland. Back at the rear is York Pickle for Germany. With a lap to go, Mark the Ram is going to start with three points. And that is just what Britain won. Neil Middleditch, their manager, was looking for a good start. He's going to get the best possible one here in flying style from Mark Aram, who's going to take the checkered flag here ahead of Sebastian Ullebeck in second place in red. Third place goes to the rider in white, Tommy Raymer from Finland. And he races in both Finland and white Sweden. Colours Eastbourne rider Jonas Kulmakor. Look along the line, Carl Stonehill going to bring on the inside, a great start for Carl Stonehill, he picks it up into the first bend, the best possible start, round the outside in white goes Paul McCorby to chase him, on the inside that's Kovalik, the pole has now picked up second place, back at the rear in yellow is Gerd Riss, the veteran German rider, but a great start for Carl Stonehill, who made the game there, beat from the inside and did it for the vengeance. Just unbelievable stuff from Carl, perfect start from gate one, so good from gate one and uh, so focused, here he is riding that mid, mid track there just on the fastest line possible the Polish rider there Kowalik trying everything he knows but really Karl is riding so quickly Kowalik coming on the inside but Karl's just in the perfect position and let's see if he can stay there well Kowalik is fifth in the Polish averages and certainly a rider of no pedigree holds a track record down at Karan but here he's going to have to chase for all his worth it's Carl Stone here because the Workington rider is out front and pushing now is Phil McCorby in the third place. He goes by inside there, the pole to Valley. The poles won't like that, but uh, with very little distance to go, the battle in second place is pretty intense here. But Carl Stone here gets it. The poles are in second place in a red, a marvellous effort for Carl Stonehill, the best possible start for the Brits because they've won the first two heats. Red helmet colours there, great local favourite, Peter Price and James, but the outside in yellow is Kulkham and the German. The Brits in gate three goes full hurry away, they go full hurry, they the place there because of the inside is picked up by the pole Protasiewicz but round the outside goes Kugelman from Germany could this be a surprise? Hurry will have to put them under pressure for the back he's got to make ground and try to pick up a point he's been bought there by Karl Laukonen and Laukonen disappointed Sean he be back in third place but Protasiewicz delighted the Polish fans here and when he gets in this position he's unlikely to be beaten yeah, important one here for Paul Hurry back in last place he really needs to get some points but Protasiewicz out in front looking so strong for the Poles he is uh, probably the Polish number two behind Thomas Golov and uh, the way he's got this lead, he knows the circuit so well but uh, 
Paul Hurry really struggling at the back, Tony. A lap and a half to go for Protasiewicz here, but he's, learned, but he's looking pretty good out front, and he looks as if he's going to take this heat with some comfort now. The German Kuberman is putting some pressure on into second place, but the man in the red helmet colours there, Protasiewicz, looks as if he's going to take the checkered flag with some comfort, Peter Protasiewicz. There he is, riding with style, knowing exactly which part of the track he wants to go. Peter Protasiewicz takes that in comfort to be red. In second place in yellow is the German Kuberman. Third in white is Kai Laukonen for Finland. Disappointment there for Paul Hurry. In Finland, they go in white. Now for Nino, this one. Another Rudolf in yellow. Away they go to the tapes. And Thomas Golov makes it to the bed. First of the cheers of the Polish fans here at Kadansk. In second place, Lee Richardson. Poles will stay in front if it stays like this. The other two riders don't count in this. Richardson will pursue Thomas Golov. Golov goes wide. Richardson comes through and challenges him. A great ride by Richardson. But don't expect Golov to leave him with a gap again. And Golov himself has had the best possible start. And a great ride too by Lee Richardson. Very promising for Lee Richardson. He's looking very, very strong here behind Thomas Golov. He's going to be a crucial link, is Lee Richardson in the England Great Britain team. He looks back there. That second place looks secure, but uh, he's after Tom. Thomas Golub, Tony. Disappointment for the Poles, though, for the uh, Finns, though, because they're relegated to last place. Kauko Neiman and Herbert Rudolph in third place. But Thomas Golub now, with three laps completed, looking a comfortable winner here ahead of Lee Richardson. The Finnish rider Kauko Neiman has moved now into third place. But Thomas Golub out front looks certain to third place. He doesn't too often suffer from mechanical problems. He's showing the style, he's showing the skill, and he's going to take the checker flag with some comfort there is Thomas Golub ahead of Lee Richardson in second place. The Finnish rider Kauko Neiman and gets third there and the Germans once again relegated to their third last place in four races. Thomas Golob, the winner for Poland today throughout the series here with a Polish official. Havlock's in second place in blue, round the outside but locking up somewhat there is Petri Coco. Stefan Mel moves through into third place but Havlock is now chasing his full teammate. Chigelski going for Poland, Havlock the British captain, a battle royal out front. This is Chigelski's lead team here in Gdansk, he rides here every week but Gary Havlock's not giving up, Gary, his pool teammate, is right behind him. Gary's right in the inside line at the moment, that's where the grip is. But Sigelski just looks so good, doesn't he, Tony? Knows the track obviously like the back of his hand, studying here at university, a six-year physical education course, and he knows the town as well. Down the back straight they go, with a lap and a half to go. There's Gary Havelock in pursuit and riding well, the British captain. They wonder just what he learned by this because they've got to beat again in just five races time. But Chigelski goes into the final lap. The floodlights starting to sign as the sunset clashes with the floodlights here in Gdansk. And bringing up the rear in yellow there is Stefan Mel. But a great ride by Christoph Chigelski. And Christoph Chigelski, the red helmet colour for Poland, takes the checkered flag. The boo of Britain is Gary Havlock in second place. In white, the third place goes to Petri Koko of Finland and well the Poles now have stretched their lead here they now have 11 points it be unbelievable Bellevue rider Kai Laukinen there we see him he's on gate number one will he make it Stonehill well. now relegated back to third and to fourth place with Laukinen on the inside but moving it up is Herbert Rutholt he looks as if he's changed something round the outside of him goes Sebastian Ulebeck and the pole now is in the driving seat Ulebeck has gone round the field and away with one lap guard he's leading by a long way now and Carl Stonehill has a lot of work to do in the third place and Kyle Laukinen disappointing at the back but Stonehewer is battling now with Rudolph for second place the man out front is Ulamek and he's way way in front Carl Stonehewer is up to third place now and he's really putting pressure on Kyle Laukinen uh, he's trying the inside, he's trying the outside, he's trying everything he knows. He has got the speed to do it. Let's see what he can do. He went by Kyle Alkin and in pursuit of Herbert Rudolph there because Rudolph the German is the man just in front. Stonehill are trying to cut inside him on that top end, putting Rudolph under pressure. Rudolph shut the gate on him and we go into the final lap now and Stonehill will be tying his darnest to get past the German. He's going where the grip is, round the outside. Way out front is Sebastian Ulamek. He's looking comfortable and looking a certain heat winner for the battle in second place. Stone Hero is going for it all the way and just on the line and only just in yellow Herbert Rudolph gets it relegating Carl Stonehill to third place it was so near and yet so far for the Birkington rider because that man there